when the Celtic captain Callum McGregor got all the players together at the end of the game on Sunday. It was all about refocusing and getting ready for the title run-in. Said Greg Taylor. Murdo McLeod has been in the same situation as Angie Postacoglu. Back in 1998, he was assistant to Vim Jansen, when Celtic had to recover and regroup from a disappointing treble wrecking 2-1 Scottish Cup semi-final defeat to Rangers to get their hands on a league title. Jansen and McLeod's squad, led by Tom Boyd, did it back then. He believes Postacoglu and this Celtic FC group fronted by Callum McGregor will do it now. Greg Taylor has been speaking to Celtic TV ahead of the Ross County game and revealed the mood in the dressing room has picked up after a few days of hurting within the camp. It did hurt for a few days but with football, you have to move your focus to the next game, Taylor told Celtic TV. Winning a title is never easy at any point. Celtic are going to have to go and get it. Go and earn it. The way Celtic are sitting at the moment, they are so comfortable with a big gap at the top of the table. But they will face five tough games because all of the teams who have made it into the top six are there due to the fact they have had great seasons in their own ways. Hearts have had a great season, Dundee United are doing so well, then you have Ross County. Look at their season compared to some of the teams who are down there in the bottom six who are seen as much bigger clubs. Motherwell as well and these teams will be relaxed going into these games. Reaching the top six is the bonus for a few of them and they'll go and enjoy the games. Celtic have their own target, so the matches will be good and they'll be looking forward to them. But look at the last game in Dingwall. In recent years County have been down near the bottom scrapping for points here, there and everywhere at times. Yet this season they achieved greatly to get into the top six and will be looking for that same performance as the last time at home up there when it took Celtic until after 96 minutes to get their winning goal. The title won't be handed out to Celtic and nor should it be because leagues have to be won by the team who goes out there and wins it. Callum has been brilliant at bringing this group of Celtic players together this season, with the help of Joe Hart in the dressing room. The Celtic captain has been ever-present and has led by example during the good times. And the tough moments. The coming together at the end of the match and McGregor holding court could be seen as an important part of the season, should we go on and lift the league title. The report states that Hibbs want an older boss with the likes of Scott Brown and Malky McKay mentioned as the leading contenders. Celtic first team coach John Kennedy is likely to remain at Parkhead. The 38-year-old has previously been linked with the managerial role at Easter Road. In Celtic transfer news, it's all gone a bit quiet. You can understand with the title still to be won. I expect news of Amran Carter Vickers to be the first to break. But who knows if Hotter will sign on the dotted line for Celtic in the summer. That could still be up in the air, with talk has been offered a starting slot at his home club. Let's start to look forward to Sunday's Celtic game up in Ross County, one of the best away days going. Although it. S another club reducing away allocation. Malky McKay addresses Hibbs speculation as Ross County boss makes no distraction claim. Ross County manager Malky McKay has addressed the speculation linking him with the Hibbs vacancy and insisted it is not a distraction ahead of his side's match against Celtic this Sunday. Settling into a new country has also taken its toll on Rio Hattate citing emotional and physical fatigue, but despite the fatigue, which he claims even resulted in double vision during one training session, he is determined to help his team clinch the Cinch Premiership title and maintain his role in Angie Postacogla's first team since signing in January. Rio Hattate says Celtic's relentless pursuit of silverware, combined with his own international commitments, are beginning to catch up with him and the fact he only had three week off in December after playing a full season. And on that note have a great day Celtic fans. Lit. Roll up to the party, roll up, roll up to the party, roll up to the party, roll up.